everyone so before I start my video which I'm already starting but I mean before I start my topic I just want to give a quick shout out to my girl Alex um, Diaz my boy Bilal Bells um, who else do I want to shout out my girl my other Alex Abambola that's my best friend for life um, who else Evan Martinez uh, out of how many? What's that? So, shout outs to all you guys. Um, and hello, hey, babe. I just I'm making a video, and I what a coincidence! I just shouted you out, and you're on speaker, and the video's going, huh? Well, call me back when you finish the video, <laughs> okay. Right, Bye. Bye. Well, that was Evan. So, anyways. Whew. Mm. So, the topic is interracial dating. I've been getting a lot of requests to state my opinion on the subject. So, I think um, this will answer all your guys' questions. And hopefully, you guys will learn something um, from this video. But, anywho... Um, I think interracial dating is a very beautiful thing and for those people who have something negative to say about interracial dating or who put people down who are in those type of relationships, honestly, you guys are so ignorant and you need to seriously snap out of it because I think everyone who's smart enough knows that a successful relationship goes far beyond skin complexion, goes far beyond ethnic background goes far beyond any of that stuff. I think it really goes down to if you're compatible with that person or happy with that person, um, if that person makes you happy, if that person makes you feel alive. You know, it, it doesn't have to be strict. Like, you have to... Like, I know parents sometimes encourage that you date your own race and sometimes you're just naturally attracted to your own race. But in other cases, you know, some people are not. You know, you can't... You can't choose who you fall in love with. You know, I always say that. Um, you can't be like, oh, he is so fine. I'm going to fall in love with that guy. Because that guy can be an asshole. And sometimes the same people in your with the same ethnic background as you can be assholes. And sometimes you just like, honestly, you just like who you like. Same with gay people. You know, I, I, I don't feel like they just wake up one day and be like, you know, today I'm going to be gay. So people are going to be like, uh, no, because yesterday you were not gay, and today you're gay. You know, people, gay people, I believe, sorry about the lighting, um, gay people, I believe, um, hide being gay because they're afraid that they're not going to be accepted, they're afraid that their family is not going to love them, or they're going to be judged, um, but at some point, you know, they do come out of the closet, so I don't, for those people who say they just one day decided to be gay that's not true they hide it because they have their own personal insecurities to deal with and they have to worry about other people's opinions about them but that's for a whole different topic for a whole different video but um back to interracial dating i just feel like it's a very beautiful thing to be um in a relationship with someone else with a different ethnic background as you because you get to learn a lot from that person and that person gets <clears throat> excuse me gets to learn a lot from you and you guys get to learn about different cultural things and you guys get to meet each other's families and see a really, really big difference. Um, personally, I'm attracted to African-American boys, men, whatever. Um, but I'm also attracted to Mexicans and white guys. And I'm, I'm personally not attracted to my own race. Um, which is like mostly like Filipino. I'm Filipino and Hispanic and all types of other stuff and Asian. But I'm usually just attracted to African American men or Mexican men. I'm not really attracted to Filipinos and that's just me. And my parents are very, very supportive of that. Um, yeah. So this is what a Hispanic, Asian, Filipino baby looks like. And I believe a lot of people make really, really cute babies. Like, inter, inter, interracial relationships, they make really cute babies. Okay, Pharrell, Tyga, mm, who else? Beyonce. You know, they just make some fine-ass babies. And that's just how it is sometimes. 
But we're not talking about babies. We're talking about interracial relationships. So basically, like, I really do believe that love is really the only thing that matters. You don't, you don't have to eat the same food. You don't have to wear the same clothes. You don't have to speak the same language. Love has no appearance. Love has, love is blind. Love has no language. Love has no limit. Love has no ethnic background. Love has no judgment. Love is love and you take it for what it is or you don't. You know, honestly, for the people who bring down people who are in um, interracial relationships, I honestly feel like you guys aren't happy with your own relationships and you're definitely not happy with yourself and you definitely have some insecurities that you need help with if you feel the need to bring down other people's relationships. I mean, if you're just old fashioned, um, that's fine. Keep it to yourself. You don't have to voice out, especially if people didn't ask you your opinion. You can just keep it to yourself and just simply walk the other way, look the other way if you don't like what you see. No one's shoot pointing a gun to your face. Like, <laughs> you know, my water again. No one's pointing a gun to your face or to your head telling you to say something about something that you don't like. You know, simply look the other way and that's, that's that. And for those people who are in an interracial relationship, I'm happy for you guys. You guys are, you know, doing what feels best for you. You don't always have to listen to what other people tell you. You have to be this. You have to be that. You know, do your own thing. And for parents, I'm, I highly doubt any parents will be watching this video. But for those kids who are watching this video who are going to be parents one day, such as myself, you know, we have to really be open. And we're all human beings. We only have one life to live. We can't live in this closed off world that we're just going to stick to the olden days and just not be open to new things there's especially with gay marriages you guys I really feel like that's something that needs to be dealt with because honestly you fall in love with who you fall in love with there's no rules in love and there's no rules there shouldn't be rules in marriage there shouldn't be rules in relationships you know it's just with who you're compatible with and who you're happy with and I really wish that a lot of more people understood that um, we're all gonna be different we're all human beings and that's just a part of human race we're gonna judge we're gonna disagree but we also really have to come together as a community and as a whole as a society and be open to new things and support our fellow you know human beings and really support each other I mean I don't feel the need to bring down other people just because of their race, ethnic backgrounds, um, the food that they eat, the things that they wear. I feel like it's beautiful. It's what makes us all different. And it's the same thing as what makes us all come together. So that's my opinion on interracial relationships such and as well as um, gay marriage and relationships. But um, I'm sure I'll make a separate video for that if you guys wish, I, if you guys want me to. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys got something really good out of this video and just really try to be open and try to open your eyes to the beauty of the world and the universe and that people are going to be different. We're all not going to agree Not everyone can be the same. So you just have to love each other and respect each other. And like I said, if you don't like what you see, don't look. If you don't like what you're hearing, walk away. And just let people do their own thing. Let other people be happy. And, you know, let yourself be happy and find your happiness in whatever makes you a happy person and a joyful person. So that's just my opinions on the topic. And I hope you guys have a good night. And as always, thanks for watching. Um, feel free to leave any comments. Um bad comments, good comments, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. Um, I hope you guys have a good night. God bless and peace.